Ms. Akonashlu Mulwana from the Department of Community Safety. The Department of Community Safety in partnership and collaboration with Western Cape government-led departments for hotspots, as well as the city of Cape Town, has initiated the plan of project for COVID-19 hotspot relief, which will take place in conjunction with regular patrolling. The hotspot relief aspects will entail participating in health advocacy with the promotion of social distancing and PPE behavioral changes to improve civil compliance. In line with this, the Department of Community Safety aims to facilitate funding and support to accredited neighborhood watch structures in the COVID-19 hotspot areas. Objectives of this project is to contribute to the continued efforts to flatten the COVID-19 pandemic care, to advocate and raise awareness of the necessity to comply with lockdown regulations, to foster social behavioral changes by strengthening social distancing compliance and wearing of masks in communities and places where people gather, such as shopping centers, transport hubs, and schools. To support accredited neighborhood watch structures, to monitor and report on hazards and risk in communities, to build community cohesion, enhance community resilience, and to promote community compliance with national lockdown measures and to enhance community safety in communities and schools in the identified priority areas. The implementation of this project is as follows. The neighborhood watch must submit a report of the verification of shifts carried out on a monthly basis on the second day of each month, following the month of the placement. The verification of shifts report as referred above must reflect or be in line with the planning schedule of shifts, indicating planning for that particular day. Monthly sign off from the neighborhood watch chairperson, indicating that the placement shift took place as planned, noting that the minimum number of shifts must be 12 for the month. The forms must be submitted by the neighborhood watch chairperson at the end of each month. Monthly placement logs or timesheets signed by each volunteer on a daily basis and by the neighborhood watch chairperson. And on a daily basis, the placement logs must be kept on record by the neighborhood watch chairperson. Between 10 to 20 neighborhood watch members must be placed on each shift. Each neighborhood watch member will be required to complete and sign the following. The indemnity form, issued with a permit to perform essential services. So remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. May God bless South Africa and heaven. <laughs>